Women are underrepresented in many of the science disciplines, not all of them, interestingly, but uh, part of it is historically. If I take my two parents, they both held a PhD. My mom stayed home and helped us to grow up and to be who we are today. My dad pursued a career. So uh, the generation just before mine, uh, it was still very much roles. And it's those women who would now be the professors close to retirement, the leaders of institutes, just because it takes experience to do so. So there is still that part that we are working through. But on the other hand, especially science is very, very competitive. And sometimes I have a feeling, may it be our upbringing, I don't really know where it comes from. I've never researched into it, but generally males are a bit more competitive, are a bit more easygoing when competition gets a bit stiff than females are. And that might be one reason, but I don't have any scientific evidence to back up my uh, thoughts. Science sometimes is a bit of uh, boys banter and things like this, and especially in geology, where you are in the field, you get wet, you get dirty. It's a bit rough from time to time, but I luckily always had enough self-confidence to play the game. I understand that not always everyone has that, but it's to me never been a big problem. I have experienced these things outside science actually more often than I have experienced them inside science, but it might be a confidence issue. I might be just more confident within my field. The advice I would give to anyone who wants to pursue science is find the thing that you are most interested in. Find what fascinates you most and follow that dream. There is no point in looking which subject would give you the best job in the end because by the time you've finished your studies, it's, it's done. So many other people have done the same thing and have had the same thought. The most important thing is to follow what you are really, really interested in.